Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you what I did with this laptop. Uh, my uncle had this laying around in his shop and uh, hasn't worked for a long time. And uh, the only thing that was wrong with it was the connector broke. So I bought a new connector from eBay and replaced it. But also there's some updates on it too. By the way, this laptop is an F. Uh, it's not, oh, it's not focusing. It's a VGN FZ140E. That's there. It is VGN FZ140E. So originally it had a, a 1.8 gigahertz dual core, but I upgraded it to. Oh, it's, uh, okay, wait. Okay, so I upgraded it to. A T7500 2.2 gigahertz. Originally it was a T100 1.8 gigahertz and also upgraded to 4 gig of RAM. Originally had two. And I also upgraded to an SSD drive. And this, make sure that it's okay, so this laptop runs so fast now it's like ridiculous I mean everything just pops up you know it is amazing how fast everything is so and it, it works good too so um, let's see oh, let's load this up I mean it works really good text document there we go I mean it's it's fast compared to what it was so yeah I mean it was not that hard to replace the CPU uh, I mean I looked online to how to take it off but literally you just take off all the screws at the bottom of the base just take them all off pull out the CD-ROM pull out the uh, hard drive and it literally comes right apart. I mean, you don't even have to take off the keyboard. Or like, oh, I did have to take this off. Yeah, this this had to come off. Uh, but otherwise, and basically, you just pry from here. You just pull it up. And there's four screws. One here at the bottom. One here. And then there's two right here underneath the battery cover. But, uh, yeah. I mean, this laptop is really rocking. Oh, yes. Originally, it had Windows Vista on it, and I upgraded to Windows 7. And let's see, where is it? I there was no drivers for this. Like Sony literally said uh, on their website, "We discontinued supporting Vista. Good luck." Basically, so I did find I managed to find the drivers that worked but from another laptop that had Windows 7. So the laptop, I download, I went to this place called driverscape.com, manufacturers, Sony, laptops, dash desktops, slash VGN, dash FZ11ZR, slash 31700. So uh, driverscape, Windows Download Center, whatever. So this here, the Sony VGN FZ11ZR drivers download, those drivers worked. And I, had, I, I installed only a few. I didn't install all of them. I installed the chipset drivers. I installed this bus, ICH family bus. I ins installed the webcam. I did not install this the Soros compatible PS2. I just let Windows take care of that. I did not install the Sony firmware extension parser device. Um, this doesn't have Bluetooth. I did not install the modem because Windows already found it. And there is this Intel R SATA HC controller. I did not install that either. I did install this Texas Instruments OHCI compliant IE13 host controller. 
and also in install this Texas Instruments PCI integrated flash media controller. I install install that. Uh, what else did I install? Um, I mean that's pretty much it. So I did I already install the drivers. Uh, I did not install any of the networking stuff. It, the Windows already installed it itself. I did not install NVIDIA drivers. Um, yeah, and that's it. I mean, it works. So, um, originally I had um, let's see the device manager. Over here I had some errors showing, some yellow, whatever. And it literally was the webcam and the Texas Instrument, uh, the Texas Instruments It was either this Texas Instruments OHA compliant 1394 A host controller. It was either that one or this one. But I think it was this one. The Texas Instruments PC integrated flash media controller. I think that was that one that was giving me that error. And Texas Instruments O compliant 1394 A host controller. You know what? If I remember, I didn't even install the webcam. I didn't need to install the webcam. That's right. Uh, I just let Windows do it, and it found it, and it is, I'm just using the webcam that's the, the got the Windows driver. That's right, I did, not, I did not install the webcam. Just remember that. And that's pretty much it. So it works really well. Um, and I mean, it's so these are everything I, I installed. I had, had to install this card reader, the camera. No, I didn't install. Oh gosh, I can't remember if I install the camera or not. Well, if if the if the if the computer doesn't see the camera, if you're gonna do this and the computer doesn't see the camera, then I did install the camera. I just can't remember. I installed a Apache Chrome. I'm not sure what this one is. Some Intel driver, and then obviously this is the Microsoft uh, is Security Essentials. That you get the free antivirus. I downloaded that, and installed it, and uh, this is the what is this one? Um, I think it was Windows Movie Maker. It didn't have Windows Movie Maker on there, so I installed Windows Movie. But it's part of a a package. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Windows something. I forgot what it's called. If I can remember. Let's see. Oh wait a minute. I can do I can go the like this. Control panel. Let's see. Category uninstall. It was where is it? Oh, Windows Essential. Essentials 2012. That's why. Why I installed. I wanted I needed a way to test the webcam to make sure it's working. And the way I did that is I, inst I installed that Windows Essentials 2012, and then um, I was able to, where is it, Win Movie Maker. And then right here, there's a place where it says Webcam Video. So, <laughs> there's me. <laughs> What's up? Anyway. All right. Uh, and that's it. You know, I mean... I mean, resurrected this laptop from the from literally the grave. Uh, I did have to do a few things to it. Um, I had to replace the CD-ROM. The CD-ROM went bad. Well, I had to buy a new power adapter because my uncle he lost the power adapter to it, so I had to buy a new one. Uh, what else did I do to it? Um, obviously, I replaced the solid-state drive. Uh, it was it's only 120 gig. But after all the updates and everything that I installed, I still have 73.4 gigabytes free. So I have from here to here all that free space to, to have fun with. So, uh, But I don't expect to put a lot of things on here. Just, you know, I just need a laptop for like, you know, little things. So just, you know, writing papers, checking the internet, things like that. All right, I think uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions, I'll put that uh, link in the description.
for that driver scape link in the description. And um, if you have any questions, you know, if you guys, I don't know, curious about something or whatever, just shoot me. Just contact me through, uh, through YouTube. Yeah, this is going on YouTube. All right, that's it. Over and out.